Whew. The struggle is real of not having a car. Oh. Hello, hello, my scrumptious ravens. Welcome to day 24 of my weight loss journey. I weighed in today. I was 171.8. I don't like it. I want that 160 number again, but it's okay. I have... It makes sense. It's going to fluctuate like that, and that's okay. Um, it is 2.22. I'm doing my first check-in of the day. Water intake has been pretty horrible today. I'm on my second bottle of water. The only thing I've had so far is a cup of bon Boom Chicka Pop. Sweet and salty popcorn. A little snackaroo that replaced my breakfast. Um, I just... It was a rough morning, guys. I... It was just a rough morning emotionally. I couldn't get myself out of bed. I struggled. I don't know how, but I snoozed like four alarms. I slept through four alarms. And um, the most productive thing I did today was went and picked up some groceries. So let me show you guys what I have. Altogether, everything you see on this table costed me about $75. And I didn't realize how little is on my table right now. I'm going to show you guys. Ta-da! So we got some eggs, feta cheese, Greek yogurt, uh, red kidney beans. So I'm not really good with beans. They tend to really bloat me. But I saw this burrito recipe that seemed extremely yummy and it required kidney beans. So I grabbed that. Uh, mayo racha. So mayo and sriracha olive oil i didn't realize this bag was so huge so uh yeah this was a surprise almond butter because i'm running out tomato three mangoes um a halal chicken bacon i plan to go over the weekend to my parents house and i want to cook them a nice breakfast so i have plans for eggs um chicken bacon and some pancakes for them and then this was the bread that my dietitian recommended to me. It's stone mill sprouted rye and 12 grains. Apparently this is quite healthy. So two slices is 130 calories, not bad. Green pepper, lime, um, four of these, these were on sale. It was four for $10. So I just got these Uncle Ben's cause y'all know the disaster I had with cooking rice. Um, and the dietitian said those are completely fine. Um, then we have some uh, diced tomatoes, again for another recipe to use in a pasta. We have mango puree, and this is my first time trying some guac that's pre-made. I wonder what the shelf life of this is, or the refrigerator life, once I open it up. Not sure, but uh, yeah, I'm going to start putting everything in the fridge, and I'll uh, check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, it is 4.41, sorry, 4.44, 4.44 p.m. Having my first meal of the day. I'm super hungry. Gotta have my garlic pickle. And there's rice, some chicken thighs, and a little bit of veggies on the side. And some water. Still on that number two bottle. 6.51 p.m. Man, that bike ride. Got me gassed, bro. I'm tired. I also got um, anti, no, what's it called? Hydrocortisone. This allergy anti-itch cream for um, like eczema and heat rashes. So I started putting it on there for today. Today I put it once. I'm going to do it one more time before I go to bed. And hopefully it clears up in a few days. But yeah, ready to play some volleyball. I am Hi, you're. Eight o'clock p.m. Just finished volleyball. Gonna start the bike ride home. I'm so rusty, bro. I got like one serve over the net. <laughs> My legs be hurting. My legs are hurting. It's my thighs, bro. My thighs be burning. The good news is, as soon as you get into the cemetery, right over here, there's a really nice 
hill. Oh my god, I can give my legs a break. Holy. You know, I was thinking about something today and I wanted to share it with everyone. You know how a lot of guys complain that, oh, girls don't want good guys. They don't want guys who are nice. They complain when you're too nice and all of that. Honestly, guys, I feel like it's the same for some guys. I feel like they kind of intentionally go for the more toxic people. Because maybe the nice ones seem boring and they're not given, uh, they're so quickly judged just based on their kindness that people don't want to really give them more of a chance because they're like, ah, oh, they're nice, they're boring. And I mean, that you could equate that to them being a toxic person too because if stability and not a crazy type of relationship, more of a healthy level-headed, mature kind of relationship is what you consider boring or not quote-unquote challenging or exciting or thrilling, then you're probably not a very healthy person to begin with. And, and that's fine. Like, I wouldn't want to be with someone like that anyways. But my whole point is, I was thinking about it today, how guys complain about being friend zoned easily and not guys in general I'm not saying just all guys I'm saying a lot of guys complain about being friend zoned complain about not being given a chance because they're considered like nice guys or whatever um but I feel like that same principle applies to girls as well so I just wanted to put that out there that I feel like you may think that generally speaking girls can't relate but let me tell you we can relate to <laughs> it's not just girls who don't go for the nicer people guys do it too hi guys it's 12:22 a.m. i was supposed to sleep a lot earlier but I just felt super lazy, so I laid on the couch. I felt so lazy, guys, that I even skipped out on my nightly prayer. I definitely could have squeezed it in, but I was just really tired, and it was difficult to get off the couch. So I'm going to get some sleep now and hopefully make it for my fitness class. As always, I'm wishing your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit and your body peace and happiness and good health and goodness. Please choose to be kind to yourself and to others. Stay safe, my boo-boos. Stay scrumptious, my noo-noos. And God willing, I'll see you all in the next video if I'm healthy and able. The only thing that I had at night after that last meal that I showed you guys was a little container of yogurt, the, the pink lemonade yogurt. That's it.